Hey everybody, it's Stick and Tea. And today we're talking about the Kyber Sword. Now the Kyber Sword was the pass. It was the uh, mountain pass between Pakistan and Afghanistan. And Lynn's gonna get into great detail. He's gonna demonstrate cutting with this. You got to cut a little bit with it too. Yeah. This is just a, a mean, mean machine right here. Let's jump out with Lynn and get his thoughts and his explanations on the Kyber Sword. One of the few things that I really admire about the Afghan people is their national sword. It's a short sword or a long knife, if you will. It's called a Kyber knife, an Afghan knife, a Chura. Uh, the Chura is pronounced different ways. I won't try to uh, enumerate all the different ways that it's pronounced because I can't do it. But it's a bitchin' sword and I really like it. Uh, Cold Steel, after contemplating making one of these for many years, finally came out with what I think for the money is a really good Kyber or Afghan knife or sword. It's got about a 20, 20 inch blade. It's got this really thick T back here. So this is big ridge that runs all the way up to the point. So it makes it really stiff, but then it's got a thin cross section right here. And this came out really well. I'm really happy with it. Really, really happy. This is just out of the box. This was my personal sword. It was delivered to my house about a week ago. It's got a nice leather scabbard with a nice throat and shape on it. And it's a lot of sword for the money. And I've always wanted to make one of these and I'm pretty darn happy with this for the price asks. Uh, I don't think you can beat it. Let's see how it cuts. Ashley, if you want to help me with this thing. Now, again, it's on order for a short sword is a double tatami mat. Now this is out of the box, didn't sharpen it, didn't do anything to it. Let's see. That's what made the Chura famous. It'll cut through turbans, it'll cut through robes, it'll cut through the pashtin or the, the heavy sheepskin coat uh, that was quite often worn in the northern climates there in the Middle East, in Afghanistan and Persia. Um, you walk, you run into a lot of heavy leather and wool clothes. It's got a ferocious point. Now the Afghans typically don't use the point as much as I would, but I just love the point on it. Look at that. Look how thick this bad boy is. It's almost three eighths of an inch thick. It's a lot of sword. Hey, look at it, it's full tang. Look at that. Tang goes all the way around. It's got this beautiful bolster here. Doesn't have hand protection. Sometimes they fight with a buckler with it. Sometimes just by itself. Mostly it was just a downward, we'd call them most Filipino arch, martial arts, the number one angle attack. It was usually just a downward blow like this, um, but it was aimed at the neck here, to the junction of the neck, so it cut through the collarbone, go through the rib cage, through the chest, out the other side. So you could literally cut halfway or two thirds through somebody if you hit them right with this chura. A really, really awesome sword, as I just demonstrated. Double Tommy to mat, a mat with a 20 inch blade. <laughs> For the money, again, this is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I mean, you just can't beat this for the money. I'm just way pleased. The blade's straight, everything about it. Watch this, it's just a flick of my wrist. Look at that. Now, that was a cut mostly from my wrist. Halfway through that double to Tommy mat. Just like this. Look at that. That is cutting power. And the stabbing power speaks for itself. Thanks, Lynn. This thing is perfectly balanced. It didn't even take you anything to cut through rope. I mean, it was a, just a snap of the wrist and it's gone. I think we should give one away. I think we should. But I gotta announce the winner, though, of the uh, training knife set. That winner is Mad Dr. Gremlin. You'll need to email stick at gsmorg.com. Put in there cold seal sweepstakes winner in the title line. Get me your information and I will get you that full set of those training knives. 
giving that away, what do they gotta do? Of course, you need to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you go to coldsteel.com, go down bottom of the page and put in your email address so that you are in touch with us. From Stick and Tea, <laughs> Stick and Tea, I'm leaving. And it's not like I'm gonna get stuck. Oh, my God.